Podcast. Good evening, viewers, and welcome to Calypso Showcase. Tonight's show is a special in, mem in the memory of Calypsonian, the Lord Maestro, Cecil Hume. Who was Maestro? What made him a great Calypsonian? Well, tonight we hope to answer those questions. And to help us do that, we have Clive Nunes, who is the head of the management committee of the Maestro Memorial Calypso competition. And we've also got Carrie Stevens, known in the Calypso world as Tender Spot, someone who is very, very close to Maestro and who can share some thoughts with us tonight. So we begin by asking, where did the idea for this competition come from, Clive? Well, um, it came from Tender Spot, right? Um, in point of fact, there has been, um, over the years, some years ago, there were about three competitions, but just confined to the Princess Town area, okay? So that when this management committee was formed, Tender Spot came up with the question of the competition. But he said, well, the idea was for it to be done South Central, mm -hmm. right? But then we came up with the question of, um, well, what's the reason for the competition? You know, what it is we really want to do? And we discussed and says, look, the rapid deterioration of the lyrics in Calypso over the last, what, eight, 10 years, right? That, um, that is not doing the art form much good, okay? And therefore, we would like to do something. The committee met and uh, we took about two or three meetings because people were of the view that the competition should be singing a song about Maestro. I want to stop you at this point because I want to bring Carrie Stevens at this point. I think we should establish too that Carrie is the PRO of the South Central Zone of Tuco, the Trinbago Unified Calypso Organization. Carrie, tell us something about your position as a PRO and how it interfaced with this competition. Well, <clears throat> um, for me it's not easy, but it's work I have to do. Um, I was elected the PRO for the movement sometime in December, and from then on I was given the responsibility to make sure that um, South Central is well known to the people of Trinidad and Tobago, and I try my best to do so. Um, it's, it's very difficult to function um, knowing that I'm not qualified as a PR or um, to say, well, uh, I have You're trained no already training like that, yeah. But I, I, make, I make out not to, I have help from my other members and they assist me very well and whatever I try to do. I have Mr. Nunez, I have Mr. Bassant along with me, so. From what age did you know Maestro? Me, as a schoolboy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was in a sometime form three. What kind of person was he? Cool guy, easy to deal with, very um, given type of person. You could get anything from him at any time. In terms of his Calypso composition, what do you remember most? Um, he was like a machine. He will do sometimes 12 songs per day. Um, if we have to work for special people, he, he will work special for, you know, do separate things for the people. And um, he will do sometimes music first, melody in fact, and then mm -hmm. he do lyrics. Sometimes we do lyrics first. Depends on the type of song he's so He was very versatile in terms of his composition skills. Yeah, I believe he was an accomplished musician also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, it was, um, I believe, if Calypsonian in these times should um, take pattern, he has certain things that he put down as a writer. He put topics, list of topics that he'd want to work with and just do them as the vibes come around. In terms of the competition itself, can you summarize quickly what has happened, where are we now vis-a-vis -vis this Maestro Memorial Calypso competition? Okay, well, okay, what has happened is that we had the auditions that attracted 51 Calypsonians. Coming out of that, we required 30. The judges gave us 31. That was for the preliminaries. That was held on the 4th of September up at the Eating Choices restaurant to a packed house. You were there. Yes, sir. Right. Very um, enjoyable evening, if I may say so. Yeah. And then we had uh, the, sem the semifinals on the 18th of uh, September. That was at the Palms Club. And that had 20 competitors. And coming out of that, we now have 10. And that grand finals is on Friday night. Friday that's, the 8th. 
the eight and you've got bar. ten competitors singing ten, two tunes two tunes right one one is a maestro song mm -hmm. one that was composed and sung by maestro and the second one is a new song that was never sung at any competition right either at the semi-finals or finals before our auditions all right well let's start to acquaint our audience as to this what we call great maestro We've put together a little video clip as usual on Maestro and um, we'll be presenting that to you after we take a commercial break. But before that, we want to ask especially those people out there who have had some sort of uh, run in with uh, Maestro, who can remember some incident that they'd like to share with the other people to call us in later in the program when we come back from the video clip and tell us about that incident or your whatever relationship you have had with Maestro. We take a commercial break when we come back. Cecil Hume, the Lord Maestro. Cecil Hume, known in the Calypso world as Lord Maestro, was born July 1939 and died on Independence Day 1977. Just a half an hour after midnight, he was involved in a vehicular accident Incidentally, that was the 15th anniversary of our independence. Well, Maestro had a short professional Calypso career, which effectively began in 1969 when he arranged a set piece for the steel band, True Tones, a tune concert at the hall, which incidentally was his own composition. The band placed second to Desperados in the Steel Band Music Festival that year. This tune was released on his first recorded 45, the reverse side being great invest inventors, one of his calypsos. Reliable sources advise that many years before this, he gave or sold his compositions to fellow Calypsonians, especially those based in the Southland. He participated in many calypso competitions in Princess Tong in the 60s and won the crown there on many occasions. We were unable to locate any video footage of Maestro but a competition organized by the Southern Arm of Tuco in tribute to Maestro afforded us the opportunity of getting a lot of his Calypsonians, fellow Calypsonians, performing his tunes. And we intend to use this to show you the life of Maestro tonight. In 1972, the year before he made his first big public impression, he sang a tune called Some Came Running, not known by many people. And this was the choice of the Calypsonian Manchild. This tune is a humorous account of a march by some Union leaders and followers in South just two years after the Black Power Rights of 1970. Here's Manchild with Some Came Running. The United Labour Force asked for permission to hold a demonstration, a religious procession. The police commissioner had strong objection. He said a demonstration is too much provocation. We take it on, we own a count and assemble by Paramount. I didn't think it would come to pass. You know they throw tear gas in we grass. We marching, we marching. If you see the crowd out, they chain loud, but the big protest melt to one comment. Well, they nearly killed Jamada. George Weeks start a ball. Ram, they were capsized and fall, but they couldn't kind Rafik at all. His first recognized hit was Black Identity, which he sang in 1973. This tune took him all the way to the finals along with another calypso called Poor Man. That year he performed out of the veterans' calypso tent. Calypsonian Kroko has been known for his compositions on race. Remember Rise African Rise and Sham We Don't Want It? Well, it is fitting that Kroko chose the song Black Identity to perform which was also sung by another Calypsonian exposer. Here's Black Identity. Black 
Presently, almost everybody talking about black identity. But if you check out the majority, they're only using these words falsely. Because the first thing that is a shame, African people with European name, that is the first step we have to take to correct a prehistoric mistake. If you hear see Charan Ram Kela, Wan Lal Chan Bal Chan, well, bet your life dies a East Indian man, Jose Juan Gonzalez man, well, Sancho Pablo. You sure them fellas from Mexico? So why my name couldn't be Dingaka? Lubumba, Makiba, or Kenyatta. If we use these names, then we sure to be on this stairway to true black identity. Now no African should be reluctant to pass this on to his descendant. These names that you so dearly consider belonging to the white slave master. You lost your names and this you must know. In the slave trade many years ago and these present names you must understand you're contributing to Live times tradition, now come to Jan in Tang Hing Kong Wang, you look long pingly. Well, then you're sure them fellas is shiny. Vladimir Kosti, Kip Kushtep, Nikolai and Kowalski. Well, them is Russian men naturally. So, why my name couldn't be Dan Juma? Tapa Walu Mumba and Kuma. Change your name from Chobras to Pygmy Bus. So we could know that you're ready a broken shot. The other tune, Poor Man, which took him to the Savannah in 1973, was the choice of Calypsonian Luther. And Luther did an exceptional job in getting the essence of the lyrics across to the public during the semifinals. Here's Luther with Poor Man. I tired, I can't take no more With weedy people who say we poor I really want so much to believe Who it is we really want to deceive All around me I see growing industries Creating many job opportunities So much of money passing through we hand and still we say in thing hard in this land, the poor man, the British man on Josie, you could ever see is on a poor man like me. He say poor. You might think he's a top notch, the way how we drink in scotch with an expensive gold watch. The poor man. He win save a cent and pay no rent. Tell him where khaki, he get violent. In a telling suit looking so refined. This time he jockey shorts rag up like farmers are mine. Some of them didn't have a chick nor a child Was only work and get paid and spend money wild And these are the men who complain about price When their business was nice, they didn't take advice Some of them house falling down flat on the ground But it's driving wrong tongue in new brand Toyota Crown The poor man it's clocks for fifty dollars, rings on all the fingers and ravers, beepers. He say he poor. Twenty-one crimpalin pants, and he ain't missing a dance. Wingy restaurant, food a chance. He poor, He's way, way, and wappy wine, women, and song. And if he get a stroke and lie down, 
And if the wife take her next man, he ballin' hard and bold face enough to cuss she and say she bad. In 1974, Maestro joined Kitsch's Review and sang what is considered by many to be his greatest calypso, Mr. Trinidadian, the lyrics of which seem to be relevant even up to today. It took a newcomer, Ramdan's man, an amateur calypsonian based at the Trinidad Guardian, to do justice to this classic. Here's Ramdan's man with Mr. Trinidadian. Mr. Trinidad, tell me what's in your own. Do you just like political confusion? You're criticizing the way you live, yet you can't produce an alternative. You say you are against the power structure. You ain't like the opposition neither. Well, take care, you jump out the hot water and end up in the center of the fire. Because you refuse to vote in election. But then you will want revolution. You're strongly against communism. You walk out on colonialism. You say Eric Williams had to go. But who to replace him? You and who? Well, to make a long story short from in front, Trinidadian and really know who they want. Hey. You say you didn't want no dictator, yet you want one man to rule forever. I but help Malik, they find him guilty. Pramasa did the same. Yet you set him free. Long ago, you didn't want Fidel Castro. But today, the same Castro is a hero. Now, this attitude of Humpty Dumpty, you might fall off the wall eventually. Cause you say Butler was too high-handed. Stephen Maraj uneducated. You say that you can't trust your mother. You find Suka ran to Congo, sir. They say the advice is on the young man. Still, you go and bring back Ashford Sinanan. Well, you go call until you call back disaster. Like the capital days of the slave master. Baby, da da ba do ba. So big was this tune that Maestro would sometimes sing seven or eight verses in the tent. And very few people remember his other composition of that year, To Sir With Love. This was a message to Dr. Eric Williams about the reaction of people who felt they had worked so hard to put him in power. And it took someone who is versed in singing political calypsos to do justice to this. And naturally, Watchman, one of the leading political commentators of the day, chose this song. Another Calypsonian brother, Jay, also chose this, and they both did justice to the tune to Sir With Love. Mister, Mister, is me your black brother? Pressure, pressure, indeed inward hunger. The people who are posing you endlessly, them getting plenty. But you ain't care about me with the 28% I vote. Now you turn wrong and stroke, I open my throat. 90% of the daily buyers are of African descent. But when we buyers confront employers, we get all talk and not employment. The only time they want the naughty head fella 
is when I come over the counter to spend my dollar. No boss man, no, me ain't talking race. I only place in what taking place in the place. In small factories and other industries, they employ only their friends and families. They're using my picture in their advertisement only to give the Afro buyer encouragement. But check their place of business and see if you see three darkies, then you see plenty. 99% of all who buy in are of Afro origin. But they're not employing no black and chicken. Although it's my money they banking. I take my broken down old car and I campaign for you. You say who could buy car, could they purchase tax too? And while you're talking that stupidness, you're driving wrong in a big black Austin princess. To show his versatility the following year, Maestro composed an up-tempo party tune, Tempo. And this was very, very popular with party goers as well as on the road for carnival. Also, he composed a double attached tune, Jake and Blake, which is performed by a newcomer, Gary. Here's Jake and Blake. A Grenadian fella named Theodore leave his wife and went up to Baltimore. He went up to work on a construction to be exceedingly rich was his ambition. But his Grenadian wife, Tina Mary, playing she liked plenty wappy out every night for the same reason and coming back home next morning broken. Two crack shots, players mm -hmm. Jake and Blake, well all she money they the stake. I hear that they don't play she fear, she losing but she don't care. And anytime you walk she children for she, they just say we mommy gone to wappy, she must be gone to cinema for goodness sake. Or she gone back to Jake and Blake to get break. Ba -ba -da. In 1976, Maestro released his first full-length album called Fiery Tempo. This included tunes like The Mix, Mada Ranger, and Mountain Dew Gang. Not many of you will remember Mountain Dew Gang, and it took Tobago's axe back to remind us how witty and sweet this melody was. There is a place that they call the man. Big company village, mountain dew land. The smallest child in this village. Drinking push rum like porridge. And they like to brawl. If you touch one man, man, you hit all. By far, Jack and sing a Cooper. Zainu and I and Peter July. All man, Poboling and Norman from the mountain to gang. Do gang in the man. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. Ah, and I say. Ba -ba -ba when these people sit down to drink. About sleep and rest, they don't stop to think. Day after day, week after week, till they get too tight to speak. No bottle and spoon, they start by ranging quite in June. Daya, bitter, hold a kooka. Priest man, old Sam Hamilton. Lucas, Billy Jean McIntosh, from the mountain, Dew Gang, Dew Gang in the man. Mm hmm, oh. oh. Hey. That album also included the popular Fiery. 
Abby Blackman had a story to tell about how she sat by her father's side while Maestro composed this tune, so it was an obvious choice for her. This tune was also a popular choice among the Calypsonians in that a newcomer, Ade, formerly known as the Young Tangler, and the popular Squibby, who is incidentally one of the finalists, chose this as their selection too. Here is the popular fiery. How I come in next year? What kind of calypso is it fast or slow? While I working hard to come up to standard, they wondering how I come in. Coming out strong, it's Like the temperature China storm, you will find the place getting warm. Dynamic musical pace, everybody shaking their way. That is how I come in. Mama, me ain't joking. Be afraid, nobody. Watch me. Tune to beat, tune to sing. In the street, ting to swing. By any monkey. Bonnet. Hey. Hey. Even little children. Telling me now and then, sing one of your new hits, we want to hear it. I had to refuse, had to make an excuse, yeah, make one note. I have so choked. By the temperature in a storm, you will find the place getting warm. It's dynamic musical pace, everybody's shaking the wave. That is how I come in, mama me ain't joking. Me afraid nobody. Watch me raging in the heat, rampaging the street. With a tune to beat, tune to sing. In the street, things to swing. Hey! Fire mountain! Woo! Kill! Not so much for glory, not so much for money. My love for Calypso have me rapping so. Taking the match take, there they say, I can't make I and all no. Me no Lego. Coming on strong, I can't go wrong. Like the temperature in a storm, you go find the place getting warm. The dynamic musical face, everybody shaking their way. That is how I come in. Mama, me ain't joking. Me afraid nobody watch me raging in the street. Rampaging in the street. With that tune to beat, tune to sing. In the street, thing to swing. Fiery was also accompanied by another popular tune, Boom Bam, which dealt with the panorama performances of previous years and the disgruntlement with judges. So you'll see how long ago this has been going on. In 1977, however, I would say this proved to be Maestro's biggest year to date. The tune Savage was released mid-year in 1976, and so popular was it that it lasted all the way into Carnival 1977. One of the Calypsonian's tender spot, who had a very close relation to Maestro, felt compelled to do this powerful composition. This tune was also performed by another Calypsonian brown boy, who incidentally is in the finals. And here he is now with Savage. New York City don't have money. Anywhere you walk is the talk in New York. Alien, 
Getting the finest woman, calling on the congressman to send home the West Indian. Save. They say we West Indian. It's like we are human. This is how we make love. Well, love is all we think of. All day, same way. Especially in the winter, when the temperature lower than ever. Yankees looking for shelter. West Indian heroes, we taking over, we taking over. It looks like fire. Hold on, time, on, do da 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 Strong like lion, hot like iron. They start to protest, we all dress, all the rest. Man happy, saying how they're so broken. Brooklyn say women could stay, but the man must go away. They say we West Indian, they say we ain't human, that's the way we make love. All we think of the Asian, same way we need your clothes, in and Jamaica. Even in the winter, the temperature low as a bad Yankees looking for shelter. West India, the old city over, city over, hot like the Oh, 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 oh. In 1977, Maestro released the album Rampage Kids. Among the tunes on it were tunes like Rampage, Gold, The Godfather, Play Me, Congo Pepper, and Knock Them Down. Gold turned out to be one of the memorable panorama performances as played by the steel band Third World, an arrangement by Pelham Goddard. Maestro made the Monarch finals for the third time singing Reveler and Rampage in the early part of the competition and changing to Your Fooling and Savage in the finals where he placed third. The Godfather, a lesser known tune, is here performed by an up and coming young Calypsonian, Stinger. When I hear they changed my name, I didn't know who to blame. On they went without my consent. I ring New York and I ask Charlie, Charlie ring back and telling me, same here star, they call you the Godfather, for you are spectacular. They say I am the Godfather of jam, my prancing speed is what the country need. The people rumping, the people jumping, and every race shaking up in the place, every waist. Children fighting to see me. Women going in a frenzy. Because my jam, take it over. They call me Godfather. Another tune on the album was the tune Play Me. And the Fosto, who has strong memories of Maestro, if you remember the tune, The Unfinished Symphony, chose this offbeat number, which only has two verses on it and was quite a hit in the semi-finals. Here is De Fosto with Play Me. I want to tell my story. I want to sing my song. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to tell my story. I want to sing my song. Calypso records upon the shelf Tired now, they're talking for themselves In a soul spree or a black party Calypso records lie lazily Forty percent of soul you play, thirty percent Jamaican reggae, twenty percent Indian music, 
Ten percent ancient classic and oh no, massa no no. Calypso, Mr. DJ no, them call me Calypso. Play me. Why you treat me bad? I come from Trinidad. Play me. I want to tell my story. I want to sing my song. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to tell my story. I want to sing my song. Hit the horns. Boom, boom, boom. I want to tell my story, I want to sing my song. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to tell my story, I want to sing my song. I did not intend to lose control. To promote my calypso true soul. But you see, this is the only way to survive in this business today. Forty percent of soul you play, thirty percent Jamaican reggae, twenty percent Indian music. 10% ancient classic and oh no, massa no no, Calypso. Mr. DJ, no, them call me Calypso. Play me. Why you treat me bad? I come from Trinidad. Play me. I want to tell my story. I want to sing my song. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to tell my story. I want to sing my song. Hit the heart. Boom, boom, boom. Maestro is now poised for great things, and many Calypso pundits were rating him as potentially one of the best songwriters around with his unique style. His untimely demise on that fateful night snuffed out the life of an up-and-coming artist. Who knows what heights he might have attained. At the time of his death, he was in the process of recording his 1978 album. Public demand resulted in it being completed without all of the finishing touches that would normally have been added before the album's release. This album features some of his most creative work, including the prophetic Calypso, Bionic Man. A car crash, a harsh lash, everybody say, man done. A news flash, severe smash, one more Calypsonian gone. The album was called Anatomy of Soka and featured the tunes Tanti, Tanti, Bionic Man, Sher, CD O'Malley, Soka Music, Over Yonder and Improving. No Call Them Name was another tune on it. Brother Kamara, a southern-based Calypsonian, and one of those who clamored for Maestro's works to be published, sang the tune Tanti. Uncle Dean went out and roam. Tanti Jean, bring Harry home. Come back down. To bring some grapes, Harry hide behind the drapes. I start to ball, I start to ball, I ball. Santi, Santi, Uncle Smart was so that man bound to know. Santi, Santi, Harry shoe show him this thing have killed him, Lord. One of my personal favorites on that final LP by Maestro was the tune Over Yonder. And giving a good account of himself, another finalist, Brother Marvin, with Over Yonder.
A place where the alien have all the power. The ones who belong there are made to suffer. With cannons and guns, they take over by force. A man from London in Africa is boss. Over, over yonder, in a place called Rhodesia. Over, over yonder, in a place called Africa. Immorality, inhumanity, some foolery, skullduggery, insanity, enmity, illegally. In the country, over, over yonder, in a place called Rhodesia. Over, over yonder, in a place called Africa. Why? I still hear the maestro, a short but illustrious career. And if we can wish just one thing, it would be that he would influence other Calypsonians to be more creative in their writing because I think that we are at a time in our Calypso development when there's a greater need for people to spend more time with the creative aspect of the Calypso. So let's hope there's another maestro somewhere out there. Over, over yonder, in a place called Rhodesia. Over. Over yonder, in a place called Africa. Immorality, inhumanity, some foolery, skullduggery, insanity, enmity, illegally in the country. Over, over yonder, in a place called Rhodesia. Over yonder, in a place called Africa. What? Welcome back to the live portion of Calypso Showcase. And first, let us make a, a slight correction as we were watching the video clip. Uh, we, well, we got some information from our two guests. It was pointed out that the tune Some Came Running was in fact sung in 1976, uh, the event of March 1975 being the Bloody Tuesday, was it? Yeah, and perhaps you can add something to that, um, Clive. Well, it was uh, during the struggle of the combined oil and sugar workers. Mm -hmm. And um, they were having a march from San Fernando to Port of Spain. But it was under the umbrella of religion. It was a religious march mm -hmm. because there were Muslims, pundits, and, you know, all different kinds of religions. And um, they had that march, and Tony May was then the commissioner. And he just say, no march, you know. And the march proceeded, and it is history. How many people were beaten, who were arrested, how many heads were busted, and all that sort of thing. And Maestro put it into song. And he put it into song, and he also made the humor part with the disappearance of Rafi Shah. Before we leave Tender Spot, what, what would you like to say about the man Maestro? How would you like, you think he would like to be remembered? Well, um... Um, in, he died in 77. In 78, uh, we had a little group called the Manchu Fan Club, and we decided to, to keep him alive, we'll do it through the music. And we wanted to go from strength to strength, you know, like move it from Prince's Tongue and bring it to San Fernando and possibly come to town. And then um, Tuko come about. And since Tuko come about, we had the South Central Zone, and we decided to try to make it, you know, uh, to bring it up more national level. What we want to do is um, we want to put on a foundation, a Maestro Foundation, where we could help. Because he's really a person that like to help. So we want to have this in a way that we could help the needy. We was thinking about putting a, um, a statue of him in Princess Town. We also want to be responsible for taking care of the tomb. Over, over yonder, in a place called Rhodesia. Over, over yonder. In a place called Africa, immorality, inhumanity, tomfoolery, skullduggery, insanity, enmity, illegally in the country. Over, 
Cuba, over yonder, in a place called Rhodesia. Over, over yonder, in a place called Africa. 